join Chloe's table live, pre live presentation. All right, hello everybody. Thank you so much for coming to Chloe's table. Let me introduce myself. My name is Kevin. I'm the chief chef and owner of Chloe's Table, which is an interactive restaurant where LG Chloe Robots and I work together on the same team. Now I want to show you just how this is accomplished and more importantly what that means. But first let me give you a brief introduction before today's guests arrive. As I just mentioned, this is a place where LG Chloe Robots and I work together to serve our guests. And some of the ways we do that include receiving reservations, guiding customers, placing orders, and even cooking. And this allows our guests to experience our innovative service from the moment they arrive at the door. Now, I'm going to show you exactly how that looks and just how easy it can be when you use LG Chloe robots. But first, before I do, I should mention the Chloe Guidebot. Hi there. Welcome back. Hey, nice to see you. Good to see you. Um, did you make a reservation? Yes, we did. Okay, fantastic. Well, I'm going to let my assistant find the reservation for you and then show you to your table. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. What name is the reservation under? Gabriel. Your reservation is confirmed. Table one is ready for you. This way, please. All right, now, here's what you're going to see. You're going to see our guests place their order, choose their preferences, and pay for their meal. Now, both Gabriel and Amy are returning customers, which means their preferences are already saved in our history. This is your table. Please have a seat. I'll return to station to welcome new guests. Thank you, Chloe. Well, guys, welcome back. Thanks again for coming. Um, if you remember from your last visit, this is your LG Chloe robot server, and it's going to take your order for you. Great, thanks. You're welcome. Hello, I'm Chloe, your server today. Please take a look at the menu and place your order. All right, you guys go ahead and place your order when you're ready. Based on Gabriel's order history and dietary information, Gabriel's preferences have been applied. All right, we'll go with that. It's a very good choice. And I'll have the original. Okay, both are very popular. And you can choose to pay if you'd like. All right. Swipe your phone at the LG Pay screen. Payment completed. Enjoy your meal. All right. Now, as you may have just noticed, our guest preferences were already saved in our history from their previous visit. And they were also able to pay for the meal simply by swiping their phone across the screen of their LG Chloe robot server. Now, Gabriel, Amy, you guys are all set. I'm going to get started cooking, so just sit back, relax, and enjoy. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, now, both of their orders have been sent to the kitchen where my LG Chloe chef bot is going to help assist me prepare the dishes that they have chosen. Now, as a first step, my LG Chloe chef bot is going to identify the required amount of noodles needed for each dish. Now, watch closely because this is where things get really fun. It's going to choose the perfect portion size based on our guest's previous visit and their ideal customization. Now, when it comes to um, cooking and preparation in the kitchen, portions are very important. If you give too much, it becomes a waste. But if you give too little, then our guests are going to leave hungry. Luckily, it chooses the perfect portion size. Now, while it's helping me in the kitchen, I'm going to go ahead and get some sides ready. So today we're serving a tomato marinated side. It is some sweet cherry tomatoes with a balsamic vinaigrette and olive oil marinade. Now it's also garnished with a little bit of apple. Now this is going to add a great balance to the noodle dishes that they've ordered and that should do it. Just in time because we're ready for our next step. As you can see, my chef bot is going to do three things. It's going to first boil the noodles. Then it's going to place the noodles into its serving dish. And lastly, it's going to pour our broth or our soup over the noodles. Now, I'm guessing you guys are wondering what kind of dish they ordered. So I'm going to share the recipe with you. And hopefully you can make it at home for friends or family. Now, this recipe that we use for the broth is great for anybody with any type of dietary restrictions, such as vegetarians, vegans, even people with gluten sensitivity. It's healthy. It's delicious best of all, extremely easy to make. So, 
We start with two different types of soy sauce. One is sweet, the other is going to be more salty, uh, balances each other out. And then we add three ingredients, zucchini, onion, and mushroom. Simple as that, like I said, extremely easy, but very delicious. Now, looks like Amy's dish is just about complete. So I'm gonna get started, and I'm gonna add some finesse if I get my glove on with some plating. So I can see in my database here that Amy has chosen to plate all of her toppings. So I'll get started with that. Once again, if I can get my glove on. All right. So I'm gonna start by adding a little bit of chicken. She has ordered the original. So we're gonna add some chicken, followed by some egg. Now when it comes to food preparation, I think it's very important to present it in a visual way. The more beautiful it looks, the better it's gonna taste. So I'm gonna try and make this look about as pretty as I can. So we're adding some zucchini, a little bit of carrot, uh, just a little bit of red onion, not too much. There we go. We're gonna add a little mushroom. And then we're gonna garnish it with some lime, and my favorite, just for a nice little touch, an edible flower right on top. And that should do it. So Amy's dish is ready. Just in time because Gabriel's dish is just about complete. All right, thank you. All right, now I can see here, but I'm gonna double check with Gabriel. Excuse me, Gabriel, you chose to play with carrot, zucchini, onion, and mushroom, is that right? Yes, that is correct. All right, I'll get started on yours. Thanks, Chef. So I'm going to add some zucchini, a little carrot, some red onion, and last off, mushroom, like I said. I will also add a nice little finishing touch there with one of these edible flowers here. All right, so both of their dishes are done. They look great, they smell delicious. So let's get these over to our guests so they can enjoy. For that, I'm gonna call my LG Chloe Serve Bot. As you can see, my Serve Bot is making its way over. It's gonna help me transport these dishes to our guests. I have some time to clean up my workstation. Okay. Take to table one. Let's go help them out with that. Look at that center here. Hope you're hungry. Great. So we have. arrived. Be careful. It's hot. We have one original. I believe that's you. And we also have one vegetarian option. Thank you very much. There you are. All right, thank you. You can go back now. Uh, Gabriel, Amy, if there's anything at all that you need, please feel free to ask for LG Chloe uh, serve bot. Thank you. Enjoy. All right, guys, that you're finished with your meal, it calls my serve bot over to help clean the dishes. Now, this saves us a lot of time. It's very convenient for everybody involved. All right, guys, what was the best part of the meal? Other than a great service, the taste was excellent. Ditto. Ditto. Yeah. yeah. I'm happy to hear that. You really your Opening stuff. top shelf. Press the shut button after you're finished. Well, if you're interested, we do have some really great coffee. It's actually made by one of our barista robots. So, how about after I clear these, would you like to try? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's do that. Actually, this tomato marinade is a new recipe. Shedding top shelf. I put a lot of work into it, so I'm happy to hear that. Thank you so much for that. We're going to go ahead and send this back to the kitchen. Now these, to dishwashing bar. these dishes are going to head back to the kitchen so that I can prepare them. Oops, I did not shut it. There we go. Let's go ahead and move that. Um, well, I'm happy to hear that you guys enjoyed your meal. Oh, you know what? 
It looks like your LG Chloe robot server wants to say something. Oh. How was your experience today at Chloe's table? Chloe was a five out of five. I'm going to give you a huge tip. Let's submit that. That's really nice. We'll make the experience extra special next time you visit. Thank you guys. Well, if you're ready, then let's go get that coffee. Yeah, sure. Okay. I have to say thank you so much for coming in today. I appreciate you making the journey, and I hope the experience was great, the food was great, and let's go get that coffee. We'll definitely be back. Now, this is our barista robot. Like I said, some of the best coffee here. Thank you very much. There you have it. Yeah. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time? Yeah, yeah. see you next time. Thank you. Perfect. All right. Now, even though our guests have left, there's still more work to be done. As a last step, we need to do the dishes. Now, typically, at the end of the night, you have a lot of dishware with dry, crusted food on it, and we need to get that off before putting it into the dishwasher. Luckily, with the help of my LG Chloe dishwashing robot, it saves me a significant amount of time and effort, which means I can pay more attention to my food, to my staff, and of course, most important, to my guests. Now, everything from receiving reservations to placing orders, to cooking, serving, and even cleaning, LG Chloe robots are my perfect partner.